What's up, fam? Ooh. Like I promised, I'm here. Excuse my hair. It's a, it's a bad hair day for me. But, you know, it's Chanel's world, so, you know, bad hair days happen in my world. But, as I promised, I wanted to uh, do like a between women review because y'all know that's a hot lesbian internet YouTube way up show right now. So I just kind of wanted to bring y'all up to date for those of you who have not been following maybe y'all wouldn't want to watch the show now um between the between women it's uh yeah it's a good show some good characters uh dynamic characters and it's 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 gonna it's gonna do well and let me tell y'all this who are my favorite two characters right now is miller and natalie y'all already know why because they are a power couple now. They have officially made it. Uh, Miller got a six million dollar contract. So you know everybody, you know, females will be jocking even more than they were already jocking. And y'all already know they were already jocking and Natalie gonna have issues with that. And as y'all can see, what's the chick name? Alicia. She already came ready to throw salt in the game. And the Miller should have fired her. Should have fired her before her wife even came up to the job. Y'all already know this. Little Alicia is gonna cause the marriage some issues and if she doesn't kick her to the curb, I fear that the marriage will not last long. And you know, Miller was looking at her booty while she was looking at the book. You know, don't even put the temptation in your face. Look, that's just, that's just the rule, you know, studs, you know, oh, no temptation, none. But anyway, Miller and Natalie, it's a cute deal that y'all got going on, but you know Natalie already had the trust issues with Miller, but you know, she's in love with her, so she believes in her and she's gonna give her a chance, you know, like most films do. And you know, we love y'all for that. But um, sometimes, you know, you can't always, you know, do that. And right now, Natalie's gonna have uh, a huge issue with little Alicia. Now, uh, who else? I didn't see Mecca on there. I, I don't know if she's coming back. I didn't see Beautiful or Look Alive, but I'm guessing maybe they're still on their honeymoon. I don't know, but uh, we'll see on the next episode, I'm sure. And Sunny, Sunny, <laughs> I just hope you find you a girl this season. You know, film, stud, whatever, you know. Shoot. It's uh, 2013 now. You can be a stud, they ain't a stud, a film, they ain't a film, vice versa, whatever, you know. And uh, I just hope they get Sunny some this season. Uh, or she'd be like the South Park character, you know. Oh my God, they killed Kenny. Oh my God, Sunny didn't get any. <laughs> well, anyway, anyway. Man, Brooke. Man, Brooke crazy. That's all I got to say about Brooke. She's abusive and, you know, she's had a hard life. And I guess the stuff is just too much for her to bear. So she tried to inflict pain on others. I guess that's it because she's crazy about Allison. Allison is trying to move on. Brooke doesn't want her to. We've all been in situations like that, but Brooke is going always going to take it a little bit too far. You know, she's beat her, you know, hooked her up to the toilet, fed her dog food. Hey, Brooke cried. So Allison did the right thing to get away from her, but at the end of this one, she had a gun stalking Allison house out. So, you know, check out, you know, episode two. We'll see, you know, if anybody gets dead or anything, because, you know, Brooke is crazy. Um, who else? Uh, do, 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 Winnie, just, and and what's her girlfriend named Gabby? They're just the the most confused, <laughs> the most confused couple on the show. They're both women who like women and men, and Winnie is pregnant, and Gabby trying to be there for. And, you know, Gabby parents don't agree with the relationship. Then Gabby get people flirting with her. You know, Winnie in the last season had men flirting with her. It's just like ah, their relationship is crazy. It's gonna end. Their relationship ain't even gonna last the second season. If that relationship lasts the second season, forget that. Their relationship ain't gonna last the second season. I refuse to believe that. And um, the beginning was really good. They had the balloon ceremony where they were releasing all the negative things and embracing all the positive and you know setting goals and ambitions. The ducks. The ducks almost took over that scene. Oh, whack, 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 whack. Right. Oh, oh. I almost had to turn it down because the ducks almost, you know, just 
pretty much overshadowed what they were saying in, on some points. But, you know, the, the whole overall concept of releasing the balloons into the air and, you know, that was, that was pretty cool. I liked that, you know, because positivity is key and that was a great positive way to start off the show, I think. Uh, and, you know, that's about it. It's a great show. Between Women comes on on uh, Wednesdays on YouTube. Check my page on Facebook or, you know, my, my YouTube page. I'll let y'all know the times and all of that good stuff. But I'm sure most of y'all already know. But so check it out. Between Women, it's a great show, y'all. You know, it's about uh, us women. So enjoy. Have a great day. It's beautiful out today. Peace and blessings, fam.